I'm gonna say this for the niggas in the back. No, we can't text. No, we can't chill. No, we can't fuck. No, I don't want to see you. No, you can't come see me. Unless you giving me some money. And I ain't talking about no $20 to $40 to $50 to $60 or oh, $100, bitch. If you can't give me $100 or more, don't call my phone. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed my little transformation TikTok. Be sure to follow me on TikTok for some humorous, cute, and you know, funny videos. Now today's hair is provided by Curly Me Hair and they did send me over this 20 inch Mongolian Curly uh, 99J colored wig and it is so freaking pretty. I absolutely love this wig. And all I had to do with this wig is just pluck the hairline a little bit more. And I did go ahead and, you know, condition it so the curls could already be kind of, you know, wet and detangled. So I'm gonna, and now I'm going to go ahead and, you know, be, um, begin to install my wig. Now, I already did my makeup. And I actually did my um, eyebrows um, burgundy and brown mix to give off this nice 99J hue to match uh, my hair color. And um, I already... To be honest, I kept the same ball cap in that uh, Joyce did for me, uh, which I, you guys will see that tutorial uh, very soon. Um, so this is the same ball cap. I did not have to do a new ball cap. I just did my makeup and then cleaned my hairline uh, with the alcohol and, you know, use my scalp protectant. And now I'm going to uh, go in with four layers of my adhesive. Well, I only used three layers today, guys. So I'm actually going to go in with three layers today of my uh, with my adhesive. And I already went ahead and added the foundation on the inside of the lace and on top of the lace. Now, I did use a lighter shade than my color. I actually used Rich Mahogany. And after, like, actually laying down the wig, it was a little too light. So I did go in with my actual color, which is the Java foundation. And I used that Java to blend my lace way better and, you know, to give it to match, you know, to let it match my skin even more. So... Anywho, after I apply these layers, I will go ahead and begin to attach my wig and cut off the lace. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, like, it is so hard to install a lace on yourself. So, I don't ever want you guys to think that it is super easy because it's not. Most of the times I do my hair, I do get frustrated and aggravated. But I was trying my hardest to get this wig to be so nice because, one, I love the quality of this wig. And I absolutely love the color. And I love the pattern. So, I really was trying to, you know, get it right and get my wig a uh, slave to the god so um once i you know cut the extra flaps around my ears i did take my time and hot comb the roots in trying to get that lace to really melt into the skin you know with uh, with the help of the glam wax to give it that nice little sleek shine and of course i'm going to tie it down with the melt belt and let that sit on there a little bit and because you know y'all know i hate doing baby hairs on myself i actually end up letting joyce do my baby hair which you will see later on in this video so um you know anywho once i finish tie down that lace um with that melt belt i let it sit and once it sit long enough you know i let it sit for like five minutes i went ahead and removed it and began to cut the extra lace off of the wig and um you guys will see also what i mean you can kind of see it here that i said it was a little too light for my skin so then i ended up going back in after tacking the pieces down with the java colored foundation and patted it across my hairline often in my dms like people ask me when they take pictures they get like a light halo around their hairline and that's most likely because you are using the wrong foundation color 
So um, as you can see, it was lighter before and that's why I went in with that Java colored um, foundation to match my skin the best. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spray my hairline down again and tie it down. Um, you know, with the melt bed again after spraying the Tresemme holding spray. And I actually ended up using foundation three times. After I did that method, I went, I ended up going back in one more time with the foundation and doing that. And it's not gonna get cakey. You don't have to add more foundation to your brush. Just use the remaining foundation that's already on the brush. And you just really wanna just glide it and tap it across the hairline. Don't try to go to hard in with the um foundation because that's how you will get a caked up look so um anywho after removing that melt belt i'm going to pull down a section for my baby hairs and then off camera i'm going to let joyce uh slay them for me because yeah i hate doing my own baby hairs but y'all know this already all my day one fans or whatever like that y'all know i hate doing baby hairs on myself and that's why usually i prefer natural hairlines but for some looks it just really adds that you know that jazz you know that jazziness to it so i'm going to hot comb my roots one more time and then hot comb the baby hairs down cut them off attempt to do my baby hairs but i'm going to let joyce come in and finish so keep watching look so I'm just gonna hot comb the direction that I want the hair to fall and then once I get it all hot combed out I will go ahead and go in with a water bottle uh, and some mousse and just get my curls popping because they looking a little dry right now but I am going to bring these curls back to life and like I mentioned all I will use is just some water and a spray bottle and some mousse to just get the curls tight so just use like a big wide tooth comb or brush and just get the curls nice to tangle and brushed out for that nice fluffy look and then use the mousse and the water to bring the curls back.
and now I'm just going to add a little holding spray to mold it into place and after that I am pretty much going to be done with this look so stay tuned for the finishing look and the finishing videos I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for consistent uh consistently showing love and support to your girl beautiful hustler here on I am beautiful hustler tv I love y'all see y'all on the next video which will be the last video of our 30 slay series so new series coming stay tuned see you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe